Hi, next to me is Michael Donahue. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I met you today, so Michael, where are you from? Well, I'm from Germany. I've got an Irish name, but I'm from Germany. Well, uh, just a little, a little more above, a little, large, little north from Hamburg. Okay. I never heard of you, but I will. You, you playing tomorrow or today? I'm going to play tomorrow, but I'm the last. But I'm the last to play. We are there. Yeah. So that's we'll fine. Hey, good. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, I have a question. What kind of songs you like to record? Well, I like to record Irish songs. Well, songs that I write myself, or I'm going to write with a, a good friend of mine, girlfriend of mine. She writes good lyrics, and so I'm going to do the music, therefore, it's nice. Okay. And how much cre creative control do you have about your music? 100%. Okay, that's yeah. good. That's yeah. fine. Well, not much have that. That's right, but I think, um, well, I've got no producer, so I do, I, do my, I, do, um, I do it myself, and so that's the reason that... I've got a hundred percent control of it. That's great. Yeah. What inspired you to become a singer, a country star? Well, I'm not a country star. Oh. Well, I'm just, I'm just a singer songwriter. <laughs> that's all. I'm not a star, and I don't want to be a star. I want to be normal, all right? <laughs> well, um, what inspires me to become a singer? Well, I started when I was twelve, twelve years of age, and. Um, well, in, in church we had, um, in German we had to Konfirmation and uh, I wrote two songs for the church, learned guitar when I was 12 and so I wrote two songs and sang at church and the people say, well, you're good, you're well, it's, it's nice, it's lovely to hear you and so that was the start. And then you hit the road. Yes, I hit the road. <laughs> <laughs> um... How was you, uh, How have you been your, your last year? What are the highlights? Oh, the highlights. The highlights of the last year. Well, um, in 2012, it's a long time ago, I know, but I have to tell you because so you understand. Well, in 2012, I joined the Country Music Messe Berlin first time with Mark Merritt and Amazing Records. And, um, well, I thought, on the un on one hand there was the Irish music, on the other hand was the country and western music and I thought, well how could I bring that together? And I've got an idea to make, an, make a CD, uh, I don't know how to call that, um, it, the CD with a, um, a story. Okay. And so I thought, well, the Great for Mine in 1847 in Ireland, a lot of people starved and I thought, well, one person, the story of one person who left his wife or his, his girlfriend, went with the ship to America and tried to uh, start new. And that's the story of the, the CD. And last, well, last year I wrote that CD, I wrote the songs. Okay. Most of the songs, well, I wrote five songs completely and the other five, the girlfriend wrote the, the lyrics and... I wrote the music. Great. Yeah, there's a good friend of mine, Alan Frank from America. From America, uh, he wrote one song. Well, one is Irish and one is the Yenis song of John Denver. Okay. And that's all, 13 songs. Great. Yeah. Is your music played in radio? Not. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It is. Um, well, I wrote a German song, kind of cooler, and that was played. In Hermes, Herman Lemmesmeyer. Okay. Lemmesmeyer's radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah. I know him. Yes. Uh, what do you think about country music now and, and in the past? Well, American country and western music or Irish folk music? American country country. So, sorry, I don't know because I haven't got the experience about that. Okay. Will you in the future? Maybe because. Um, the CD I told about is one half American and half Irish. So maybe, I don't know. Okay. What is the motto that keeps you going? Success. <laughs> That's all way to say. What you do when you have time off, what make you relax? What do you like to do? What I like to do, well, I'm, I'm living near the seaside and I like to walk on the beach, walk at the beach. 
I like to draw my family. I like to to read. I like to eat. <laughs> well, I know that. I yeah, know that. <laughs> that's good. Fine. <laughs> it's perfect. Okay. Please tell me about the songs and what they mean to you uh, in your expression when you write them. Your songs, especially. My songs, especially. Well. Well, uh, why do it the other way, the other way around? Other people do it. Other songwriter does it because first I write the lyrics and then I'm gonna write the music the other way, way around the other do it where they write the lyrics you know they write the, the, the melody and then the lyrics um, I do it the other way around because uh, when I got the lyrics I had a feeling in my myself and I try I take the guitar and that feeling comes to through the tunes I'm gonna sing and that's the way I do it I do it the same way. I write, I write songs, but Eddie G. Yeah, that's good. Makes the music. Yeah, fine. Yeah, so. so you know what I mean, <laughs> yes, don't you? Yes, I know. That's fine. I, I know. <laughs> well, you, you asked me what, what the songs mean to me. Well, I try to pick problems and... You sing about it. Sing about it, yeah, right. So. That's great. Uh, what has been your greatest challenge in the music business? What was your great Mark success? Merritt and Amazing Records. Okay. Yeah. Great. That's good. Uh, do you have a special kind of story about yourself? <laughs> you smile. <laughs> well, not really. Not? No, I'm not. I haven't got one. Sorry. You well, fall yeah, into yeah. music. No. Just like um, this. No. Well, maybe a, a little story about my name. Okay. Because my name is not really my name. It's a, an artist's name. Yeah. Um, when I was 12 years old, I uh, I came to to Britain first time. Yeah. And I stayed there with a family, a guest family. The woman, the woman was Maureen from Ireland, and Tony and the kids, Robin and Katie. Well, and we become good friends. And year after year, I joined them. When after about 10 years, I told Maureen, "Well, Maureen, I'm gonna make music." As Michael Donahue, and she started laughing. I said, Morning, why are you laughing? Well, she said, You know what my maiden name, maid name is? I, don't, she, I said, I don't know. Well, it's a Donahue. <laughs> right? And so, Mike is my second name. Yeah. Michael, Mike. Yeah, yeah. And so, Mike or Donahue, maybe it's true. Okay. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's it. That's good. a little story about me. Yes, it is. It's quite it is. Yeah. What would you tell the young artist who start with singing? What would you tell them to do or not to do? Not to do? Well, I would tell them not to start in a show like DSDS, Germany <laughs> Search for the Superstar. Yeah, yeah. Never, never, never. Because... It will ruin your... That success. will ruin your... Yeah. Well, you have to work. You have to stay in the business. And, you, and it takes a long time to be famous okay yeah. there's no short way it's a long way but it's a good way yeah it's a great and uh, what the last word is to you what would you say well the last word is to me well gonna buy my new record gone America yeah tell me where we can get your music well I think we've got six songs already yeah and I'm um, on Facebook on Mike O'Donoghue and you can hear some of the demos of the songs yeah. when I think on my birthday the 31st of August I think then I have something for you yes. uh, get member of country mu fair play country music in Facebook because yeah. we do it we have in six weeks about more than 3,000 members all That's over the good. world all yeah. singers songwriters artists That's fine. and only the fair country music mm -hmm. to give them a platform radio station playing your music all around the world That's so fine. hey good I give you That's my great. Yeah. yeah, fine. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> right. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you next time. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>